Welcome back to the channel everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use a tool called lossless scaling to get better FPS in Skyrim without sacrificing on visual quality. Now this is specially used if you're running heavy mod lists like Nalvas or Lorem, which I am using right here, or any 2025 Skyrim remakes with tons of mods or honestly any heavy games that may be too much for the GPU to handle. So. What is Lossless Scaling? In simple terms, Lossless Scaling is a small app that lets you run Skyrim at a lower resolution for more FPS. Then, it upscales it in real time to look like your monitor's native resolution. Basically, you get smoother gameplay without losing sharpness like DLSS or FSR, but for any game. In our case here, we are trying it using a Skyrim mod list called Lorem, which has more than 3500 mods, so it is a very very heavily packed mod list. You can get Lossless Scaling on Steam for around $7 and honestly, I think it's worth it for the performance boost it gives. These are my settings so if you want you can copy that, but I have LSFG 3.1, mode fixed, multiplayer 2, you can increase it to 3 if you want but I feel like 2 is a good sweet spot for me. Okay, so for Capture API, I am using WGC. There are two options, DXGI and WGC. If your game has any performance issues, you can switch one another and see which one works best for you. And you target one, cursor, clip cursor on, everything else off, type off. You can some you can choose LS1 or FSR, but I have it off. I'm gonna try FSR later, but for now I have it as off. Then for mode, auto, aspect ratio, I didn't set anything. Sync mode, default, max frame latency 3, HDR support off. I don't really use HDR, so I just have it off using support on, draw FPS on, these are on by default anyway, so yeah. Preferred GPU, I have it as my 79900 GRE, and you can choose it because I don't want it to run the dedicated GPU by mistake, so I just have it selected. Output display auto, so that's gonna be my settings. And how this works is, I'm gonna show you another display. Uh, so you can see some drops, some spikes, but let me just clear up the weather so it just looks better. Alright, so this is Whiterun, a pretty dense area. And Lawrence Ultra Variant is a bit heavy, so it does take a toll on the FPS. And now, when I turn on scale, it's gonna give you 5 seconds when it starts, so I just go to the game. And you can see that it's right now 63, and there's another section up there. Let me just move that away. So you can see my usual one would be 67, 69, but right now I'm getting 140, 130. And this is with frame generation right now. And it looks amazing. It, and it, it doesn't compromise the graphics either. And that's something that I was worried about, but I love it. I think it looks great. And it's something you guys can try out too. So yeah, that's just a quick tutorial on how you can get lossless scaling, how it works and what it actually does. I hope this video helped, and if it did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you need any help with anything else, or if you want me to do another tutorial of something specific. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.